guys! So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different type of video, something I've never done before, and that is going to be reminiscing on my favorite childhood books. I kind of got this idea the other day when I was downstairs and I was looking through boxes and I came across some of my old books that I had when I was a child that I absolutely love. Yeah, I don't really know, I just kind of thought it might be a fun idea. So I'm just going to show you guys, starting with books I read when I was very little and going up all the way through probably when I was like 10 years old. So let's get started. My first book that I read when I was younger. So this one right here, it's called Pat the Bunny by Dorothy Kunharbd. Kunharbd. Um, this was a book that I read when I was super little and my dad used to read it to me and it was really special to me and I think they still sell this book. I've seen it at bookstores before but it's basically just like a little picture book and you can like pat the bunny. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of this book. You pat the bunny, you can like play peekaboo. There's like little things on it. This is like, it used to smell like flowers. It still kind of does. That's weird. <laughs> page right here though was my favorite. It's now you put your finger through mommy's ring. And my dad used to read this book to me and he used to let me try on his ring, like his wedding ring. So I thought that was always really fun. So I always loved reading this book when I was when little. When I got a little bit older, I started to like picture books. And some of my favorites were these ones by Mercer Mare. The ones that have the little creatures. I'm sure you guys have heard of these. They're the little critter books. Um, I was so mad. Just me and my little sister. This was actually my brother's, but I used to read it. Um, all by myself. And then this one was my favorite, which was Just For You. And it's like this creature critter thing. And it's like, I wanted to mow the lawn just for you, but I was too little. I wanted to do this for you, but I was too whatever. And I just really liked this one. I don't know why. I wanted to wash the floor for you, but the soap was too bubbly. I just thought it was really funny. And I loved these ones. I thought they were so fun. And they're really easy to read. And they just got pictures and stuff. So I loved these. Next absolute favorites were the Berenstein Bears books. These books were my life. So was the TV show. If any of you guys watched the TV show and you liked it and you used to watch it when you were little, we're best friends because this was my life. Berenstein Bears was my life. It's still kind of it. <laughs> um, these are the books I had. I had The In Crowd, The Truth, The Excuse Note, Trouble at School, Too Much Birthday, learn about strangers, forget their manners, and I also had one that was too much junk food and I really liked that one, but I couldn't find it, so I don't know where that went. But Berenstein Bears books were really fun for me to read. They always had a great lesson in them and they were fun. And there was a little bit more reading than the Little Critters books, as you can see, kind of. But I love these. I love Sister and Brother Bear, Mama Bear and Papa Bear, and I just love the Berenstein Bears books, so these were always really fun. This book was one of my absolute favorites, and that is Angelina Ballerina, Invitation to the Ballet. This was such a fun book. If any of you guys had this when you were little, you know. So it's like a picture book, and it's about this girl who's going to the ballet, and she wants to invite one of her friends to come, but everybody has plans. And in this book, there's envelope pages, and there's actual little pockets with letters in them so every person is like oh I can't go to the ballet I have to go to a party and it's like this is their letter like this one it's like she had to had a dentist appointment and so then there's a card in here that has the dentist appointment on it so they all have cards I still have all the cards in here which surprises me but I used to love this book and it was so fun for me to get to read the little cards and it's just really awesome and then there's a poster I think that also came with it that it's like signed by the mouse people or something like that there's like real cards it's like it's pretty cool i really like this book and my friend mckenna if you've watched my best friend tag we used to read this book when we were like six years old because we've been best friends forever and um we used to read this book when we had sleepovers when we were like six years old which was super fun but i loved this book it was so fun to read my last favorite picture book was this book right here it's called laura's star this book was about a girl named laura who didn't really have any friends but one day she sees a star fall from the sky and she goes outside to rescue it and one of its little star wings is broken off so she brings it inside she puts a bandage on it she brings it in her bed and she's like it's my friend and then she wakes up the next morning and the star's gone it's just gone and she doesn't know what to do her best friend left her she doesn't know what she doesn't have friends anymore she's sad whatever but then she realizes you can only see stars at night time duh and then she's like maybe my best friend shouldn't be a star so she releases it back into the sky this was my favorite picture book i think it's probably just because we have, we have the same name. Like, you know, that's pretty cool. But I really did like this story when I was little. I used to read it. You can see there's, like, pictures in it. Cool stuff. Yeah. 
Love it. Okay, moving on from picture books. The next books I'm going to show you are books that I probably read first through fifth grade. Um, I know I read these ones in first grade, and that is all of my Mary Kate and Ashley books. I was a huge fan of Mary Kate and Ashley. Me and one of my friends back in first grade were obsessed with Mary Kate and Ashley. I liked Ashley, she liked Mary Kate, and we used to read all these books together. You've got the adventure books, you've got like the random Sweet Sixteen book, the one that we go to Rome, and you got the two of a kind books. They just got so many books, and I had basically all of them, and I loved reading these. They were just like chapter books, you know, but like really huge font, and I loved reading these during deer time. If you guys had deer time when you were in elementary school, drop everything and read. These were my favorites to read in like first and second grade. Next books that I loved to read were books that were actually TV shows that they made books into. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. This is like Unfabulous, Hannah Montana, and Drake and Josh. And it's like episodes of the TV show that like people randomly turn into books. And you used to be able to get these in the Scholastic catalogs that you used to get in like third, fourth, and fifth grade. If any of you know what I'm talking about, God bless you. But yeah, you used to get Scholastic catalogs and I never wanted to get like real books. I wanted to get like TV show books, so my mom used to let me get them. And they're just like big font, like the Mary Kay and Ashley's, but it's like the TV show. I don't really know, but I used to love these. And my last favorite books that I used to read when I was younger are the How I Survived Middle School books by Nancy Krulik, who I believe wrote another really popular children's chapter book series that I'll put right here because some of you might know what I'm talking about, but I never read that. I read these and I read them in fourth and fifth grade. And I had like all this of them. This was how it started. It was the bind up of the first three books. And I believe I let my mom let me pick something out at Walmart. And this is what I picked. And I started reading it. And I was like, oh my god, this is so great. It's basically about this girl named Jenny. And it's her sixth grade year. And it's just how her and her friends survived middle school. And I wasn't in middle school yet. So I thought these were like so cool. And then you got like every other book. I've got like every book in the series, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's crazy. So, yes, I used to love reading those books. And they had like really fun quizzes in them and like recipes and there was a website you could go to also for those so that was kind of other cool. than the ones that I like own I know I really loved Amelia Bedelia books if you know what I'm talking about loved Amelia Bedelia and I also really liked reading chicken soup for the soul books I had like chicken soup for the kids soul chicken soup for the preteen soul I love those books. So those are like stories, but I really liked reading those as well. So yes, those are basically all of the books that I liked reading as a child. If you have any favorites that you read when you were younger that you want to share with me, you can leave them in a comment below and I'll get back to you, let you know if I've read them, if I've heard of them, if we're on the same wavelength in children's books, because I know lots have changed. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to me yet, you should subscribe to me. You should add me on Goodreads. You should follow me on Twitter. I'll have it all linked below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to y'all very very soon bye your daddy always said you should stay away from a fool like me a fool like me and when your mama sees me calling on your telephone she hangs up on me